so today we're here with uh, Mrs. Anna Laura Calderon after we have uh, seen her, uh, what's her film, Under the Same Sky. If you remember, she was here with us two years ago um, with her film uh, Mosquito's Heart. So, uh, our first question is uh, that um, you have been, uh, as I mentioned before, in uh, Olympia Film Festival again two years ago with your movie Mesquite's Heart. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that your movie has been selected again and you have to visit uh, the festival for, one, for more, one more time with your, child, with your child and... My neighbor. <laughs> I feel very grateful uh, with all the festival team and with you people because you have made me feel like home <laughs> and uh, being here for the second time with them it's a marvelous, incredible, amazing <laughs> experience and I have no words to thank you, really, really excited. Thank you. So my next question is that uh, the, mil the films that you have brought to the festival, uh, the previous one, both of them, are connected with your country, Mexico. Mm -hmm. So why do you choose Mexico? Is it only because you live there or, s or is there any other region? Okay, I think, well, first of all, it's because I'm Mexican and I like to portray the reality and human beings. And uh, Mexican human beings are the closest to me, let's say so. And, and in this case, uh, particular case, I was uh, a mother for the second time just before COVID. So the thing is, I was really worried about my children uh, in COVID, and that's why I wrote this film about this, these two girls who meet in, during the pandemic. And so it was uh, not only about my country, or, but about my worries as a mother uh, during the pandemic also. Okay, thank you. Uh, you chose to present the COVID pandemic from two children's perspectives, that, uh, which was very interesting. Uh, how did the inspiration for this movie uh, come and was it based on actual events? Yes. Uh, yeah, well, uh, as I was telling you before, I was a mother for the second time uh, in January 2020, just before the pandemic started. And I was really worried uh, because now I have three kids, uh, Mamaya and Yulen and Ander, the twins. So I was really, really worried about the children. Then I was in my building and then I had an, a rooftop in front of my building when I saw another girl who was by her own. You know, had, she had no, when we were locked down, we were locked down, three children, you know, my husband, my mother, and another lady who helped us. So we were six people in a, in a house with lockdown, but we could play with the children, we could attend the children, we could care for the children. But the other girl in the rooftop in, in front was alone, just with her mom. So I thought about her loneliness, you, you know, and about how she was feeling and, and how can we help her. So we... Gabe uh, took her some toys someday, so she could play uh, with different stuff and, and, and like that. And that's how the idea of this film started. These two girls, that's why they meet, uh, because they accompany each other in, during this uh, lockdown. Yes. But isn't, uh, isn't she the one that was actually on the rooftop? No. She's just with your friend's uh, children. She, uh, no. Yeah. The other girl, I didn't see her before. She was uh, the, the, the daughter of the janitor of the building in front, uh, the inspiration of this film. Okay. But then uh, she's my actual neighbor. She lives in the same building. Uh, she lives in the second floor and we live in the fourth floor. So they were already friends. So Amaya, my, my child, uh, my daughter, she was playing the girl in, in the front building, let's say, and she was playing like as a, my girl or something like that, you know, but it's uh, only uh, uh, real events based, but it's a uh, fiction. Uh, yeah, the, the uh -huh. okay. So uh, your films usually have uh, children as protagonists. Why are you choosing it? Why do you choose uh, children? Okay, <laughs> Mesquite's heart, it's just because I thought uh, an innocent child was the right thing or the right character for this story. But this second film, Under the Same Sky, it's because of you, of this kind of festival, because with Mesquite's heart, I discovered the world of uh, children film festivals around the world, and I thought, 
I found it uh, amazing and wonderful. So I thought I should continue, you know, doing a cinema for children. And as I'm a mom, it's, it makes sense for me. But I'm also working on some projects with no children protagonists, also with mother protagonists now. So I will be doing other stuff now. But uh, this was thanks to this uh, Olympia Film Festival and Schlingel and Ojo de Pescado and all these amazing festivals that are, are doing a great job for the, our children. Thank you. Uh, is it difficult to cooperate with children and especially to film one uh, where children were really young? Yes. You see they cannot stay still. No, they are moving all the time. You know, they are playing, they want to play or sometimes they are really tired and they don't know, you know, about shooting the hours. Ahorita, sí. Uh, and 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 uh, yeah, it is really difficult. But uh, as I said, uh, in inside, it's uh, much more difficult when you are uh, working with your own children because they uh, don't obey you as easy as the other one. Because Valentina was really easy because she's not my child, you know. <laughs> but I would, but, but, but Amaya is uh, rebel with me because she's my daughter. So it was much more difficult. And as I said, she was a baby, so everyone was ready to shoot and. Uh, and and everyone was ready to do shoot sometimes. And I was chasing her around the rooftop because she didn't want to uh, change her clothes or her hair or the makeup or whatever. So I was just, uh, it was, I had to direct, and, but I had to be a mom at the same time. And that was much more difficult, you know? Now we want to ask uh, the children, uh, how was the experience and how was after that they saw themselves in the big screen? Okay. ¿Cómo fue la experiencia? I'm going to divide it into, okay? Eh, ¿Cómo fue la experiencia de filmar una película? ¿Alguien quiere decir algo? ¿Me extrañas? Sí, yo traduzco. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? ¿Cómo fue la experiencia? No sé. Fue divertida, emocionante, ¿cómo se dice? Sí. Uh, she says, Valentina says that it was uh, fun and exciting. Es divertido hacer películas con mi mamá. It's very fun to make a film with my mother. Uh, y la segunda pregunta es, ¿cómo se sintieron o cómo fue la experiencia cuando se vieron ya en la película, en la pantalla grande? ¿Cómo es? Eh, emocionadas, orgullosas, eh, felices, nerviosas. Uh, I feel uh, excited, uh, happy, uh, ner uh, nervous, uh -huh. uh, proud, proud, proud. ¿Cómo es cuando tú viste la película terminada en la pantalla grande? ¿Cómo te sentiste? Feliz. Ok, happy. Orgulloso. Proud. And Quisieran hacer otra. Do you want to act again? Do you want to act again? Quieren actuar otra vez. Actuarías otra vez. No. <laughs> yes, no. I think we found the real actor, actress there, Valentina. Valentina, ¿tú eres la actriz real? Sí o no. Do you think cinema can influence the educational system? And if yes, why? In which ways? Okay. Um, cinema is one of the main tools uh, for education uh, because that's a, a way uh, of, sorry for repeating the word, but educating children without noticing, let's say, because we, we can like uh, show them uh, emotions, feelings, uh, uh, political situation, you know, um, human situation, and also because these uh, films uh, with the work of the festivals can travel all around the world. So you can see the reality from a far away country, let's say, like Mexico or in Mexico from Greece. And that's, uh, and that's very important. So it's, uh, we need more cinema for children, educational uh, cinema, in order to be more educated, in order to be better people also. So I think that it's, uh, it's a real need, you know, like, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, what message did you want to convey when you're creating this film? I think you have already answered, but anything more? Okay, uh, well, then, uh, 
The message is like, uh, even in the most difficult times in humankind, let's say like COVID, because we didn't know if we were going to be out of it uh, ever. Even in those times, uh, emotions and human beings and friendship is very important. And that's the, one of the most important things that uh, can like make our hearts lighter, let's say, and, and, and to be over a situation or being depressed, you know, like, like can help you out. Friendship <laughs> that and feelings. <laughs> Thank you. And our last question. Um, I see that you are like taking everyday, um, let's say, uh, habits, and you make movies out of them. So, what about future plans? Okay. Yes. As I was telling, uh, now I'm a mother of three. <laughs> so uh, my next film is about motherhood, but not just uh, the marvelous and amazing thing about motherhood, but just about the hard thing of being a mother also. So we are working and we are shooting uh, my next film in the first uh, three months of next year, but it's going to be uh, uh, with a mom as a, as a protagonist, as a lead character, and we will also have children, the two girls, but it will, they won't be the protagonist, they will be just there. <laughs> I think that although a mom and everything, you're really active, and that's really like giving every woman power to continue and give, uh, let's say, carpe diem uh, for her to seize the day. Thank you. It was lovely to have you again oh, here. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm very happy to see you again. <laughs> We hope to in this festival again.